Hi guys, my name is RG at Astig Vegan. So one thing that I love about practicing my vegan lifestyle is not only cooking, but also learning where my food came from. And so um, I think now more than ever, especially during the pandemic, um, it's really nice to reflect where our food comes from. And it's also nice to grow our own, to be more self-sustainable. And one of the things that you can easily grow, um, and you don't even have to go out to a garden center or you have to be near to a nursery to get, uh, to get the stuff that you need because this is very simple and easy for a newbie like me. I like to grow some potatoes and it's something that I think uh, you may already have, especially if you tend to forget that you actually have them, and which is which can be a good thing because then they can grow some eyes or have a little bit of sprout happening, and you don't even need uh, a big backyard or a farm, or you don't even need to have a bed of soil as long as you have a nice container. So this is a pot that I found in my family's backyard already with soil. I think this was an old plant that unfortunately died, but instead of throwing away the soil, I am going to reuse it. So you can use whatever container you have. I have done plastic containers before. I've seen on YouTube some people actually using those plastic garbage cans um, as long as you can drill some holes for proper drainage for your water uh, some people have used eco bags used tires so really this is very user-friendly flexible and versatile something that um, I def definitely prefer not just with my cooking but with planting my food as well so um, with this I'm going to show you what I just said before with the potatoes having eyes. So this is pretty much very neglected. It has grown some sprouts. So this is what I'm telling you about. Um, the roots have dried up a bit, but we'll see if they're still salvageable. I think they are. I'm going to do an experiment. Half of them I cut in half and put in water and half of them I'm going to plant directly in soil and just see which ones grow first. I'm just um, putting them with the sprouts up so they can easily grow up uh, upwards. Instead of putting it this way, you do not do that. You prefer this way so the sprouts can grow upward. Also with the soil, you want them loose, not compact, like this, very loose and soft. And I also didn't fill it up as much because um, when the roots and the sprouts, they when they grow, you want to keep adding more and more soil up until when it's at the very top. And then they will eventually start to flower and then they will eventually die that's when you know it's harvest time it's probably more ideal if you start with a very tall container so you can have even more harvests this is why some people have used those tall recycled garbage ca uh, containers you know for the the blue recycling thing for the office because they're quite tall anyway but I'm gonna use what I have around the house so I'm just gonna put a little bit of space in between them like i said the other four i am sprouting some more in water and then eventually i will plant them in soil okay now that the na natin siya so we're gonna cover them up with even more soil and that's what i'm saying it's so simple it doesn't really require as much It doesn't really require a lot of uh, materials so if you go to a store to buy potatoes you may want to buy organic ones because when they're sprayed with pesticides I'll 
show you um, just that there. And once you have proper watering, the care afterward, you want a lot of sun for your potatoes as much as possible. If it's partial sun, then, then it's okay. But if you can uh, ideally get lots of sun, that would be even better. This reminds me of the time that my husband and I visited a nice farm in Bulacan called Kalipayan Farm. We had the best time learning about the different vegetables that grow abundantly in the Philippines. Over there in the Philippines, there's just a great tradition of growing uh, vegetables and I invite you to also grow your own vegetables, especially now. Um, it's, it's great to be more mindful about sustainability. Well, thank you so much. I hope you try this at home and if you do, feel free to let me know how it goes. Once again, my name is RG at Astig Vegan. Give it a try.